Hello, this is Alan McNabb with Image Building Web Design and Lion Fire Press. And in this tutorial, we show you how to uh, create a video using Google+. Plus. The first thing I do is go to google.com, and then I need to sign in. And I just put in my email address, and I put in my password. And, uh, and that, of course, that logs me in, but I'm still on the Google+. Plus. Uh, the Google the Google home page um, so here at the top you see at the top uh, left hand corner it says Alan plus and that's the name this account is uh, shows so I click on that that takes me to the Google plus page uh, now the uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on start a hangout we're going to uh, start a hangout we're going to broadcast it live and then when we're done, that's going to archive that on our Google Plus page and our YouTube page. All right, so we're going to uh, uh, invite someone to the Hangout. I'm just going to invite Beth. She doesn't actually have to come, but I do have to invite someone. And I'm going to name this. I'll just name it uh, uh, Test. I'm going to click on the box, Enable Hangouts on Air. That's going to make it live. Say OK there and I'm going to click Hangout. Now that will show uh, the video camera and how it's going to be shown online and with this one I would have added a little bit more light to the room but uh, we're not actually going to be broadcasting live here with this Hangout. Um, I'm just using it for a demonstration that I'm going to delete it. So uh, anyway we are here we're ready to go. Uh, at this point I usually come over to screen share I'll show you that in a little bit and I test out uh, uh, the things I want to be sharing on the screen, make sure I know where they're at, make sure I've got them already set up, and, uh, and that everything is fine with that. When, uh, when you're ready to go, all you have to do is click on Start Broadcast and then say OK. And that's going to, uh, that's going to click down on that. And uh, then it will go live in just a moment. So at this point, we're just waiting on it to do that. So be just another moment. And we are now live. Now you see the red box here. It now says end broadcast. And uh, we will be live with this until, uh, until I click that. And then it will stop. So at this point, we are live. Whatever I am doing from this point forward until I stop the broadcast is going to be archived then on the Google Plus and the YouTube pages. All right, so at this point, you would just present your uh, video however you want to do that. And you may want to uh, share your screen. Maybe you've got a PowerPoint you want to use. Maybe you have some web pages you want to show. Maybe you have some pictures you want to show. Uh, basically, whatever you have on your computer, uh, uh, you, can, you can, at this point, view that screen. Let me show you how to do that. Over here on the left-hand side, we say Share Screen. And this will be uh, bring up a list of available screens that can be shared. So I'm going to go here to this screen. I click on that, then I go to Share Selected Window, and it takes us there. And I can do whatever I want to do here. I could click on various things here. I could open up another window, whatever I wanted to do. Now, so I do want to go back to uh, the Hangout. And now you see here, it's, 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 I went back there, and it's got this web page that I was sharing. I need to click once again, Share Screen, and that brings up the live video. And I could go back and forth with this. Now, just one quick note that's real important, and uh, you'll uh, you'll get the hang of this. It's very simple. Uh, you try it a few times, experiment with it a little bit. It's it's very easy to learn. Uh, if I share my screen, uh, and let's say I want to go to a different screen, maybe I'm sharing some web pages, and now I want to go to a PowerPoint. You do have to come back over to the video and then begin the process again of sharing a new screen. So if I was sharing some web pages, I would come back to the video. Then I would go again, share screen, and pick the, the next time the uh, PowerPoint that I wanted to share. And so you go back and forth that way. Uh, you just try it a few times. You'll get the hang of it. It's, uh, it's very easy to do. Now, when you are done, all you have to do is uh, click End Broadcast, and it'll take just a moment for that to end. Uh, and then after it is ended, uh, then just go to the very far right, and you say Exit, and then you say Close. Now I want us to go back over here to where we were. 
with uh, with Google and I'm going to refresh this this page this is where we started our hangouts I'm going to refresh this page now notice here it says test 2 hangout that's uh, that's the one that we were doing before uh, and so the test 2 hangout is here and I can scroll down just a little bit and now I can put in a comment and uh, this uh, this is oops I didn't want to put my caps on there uh, this is, and then just say whatever it is. If uh, you've you've got some uh, some, uh, just bring up some interesting points there with that. And if you have uh, a lot of times, if I have uh, uh, talk about any URLs or any websites, I put them there. Uh, and then at the end, we want to use some tags so that people who are searching on Google they they they, they know what we're talking about here. And you do that with the pound sign, with a pound sign, and then you put whatever it is you were talking about. You might have three, four, five, six, seven of these. Uh, you don't want to be too general, rather, but, but you want to be rather specific. Uh, web design is one that I use a lot. And notice, as I type that, then web design appears here. I just click on it. That's a very common one. Uh, let's do another one. The pound sign. Oops, I uh, need to click back on there. I got off of uh, there for just a second. All right, the pound sign. And um, this time we'll just say, like if we were talking about uh, doing computer backups, and there's one backup and storage, I could use that. You don't have to use the ones that pop up, but you can use the ones that pop up, and uh, those are the ones that are most common. Uh, when you're done there, just say post comment. Uh, so we've got... Uh, uh, here the hangout and, and it'll take just a few moments for that to be archived uh, because it's got to go through the process of uh, uh, doing whatever it does so then it's archived there so while it's doing that I have put a comment here what is this uh, video about some points of the video the URL of any web pages I've talked about and then my tags here uh, now let's click on this hangout let's see if it's uh, through processing looks like it is and uh, let's say it'll come up in just a moment. There we go. There we go. So you see that, uh, the video. So what we've done with Google+, Plus, we've created a video. Uh, the video is now archived on uh, Google+. Plus. Now let's go over to uh, YouTube. And uh, when I go over to YouTube... I am logged in just like I was before. And I'm going to click on the arrow beside my picture. And I'm going to go to Video Manager. And now here is the video we just created, Test 2. It's already on YouTube. And so that can be clicked. Uh, at, at this point, you can uh, uh, come down here. You can put a comment in there just like on uh, Google+. And uh, we are now and I'll uh, also you can uh, you can put in uh, keywords uh, you can put in a description uh, you can uh, create playlists just all the things you can do with YouTube uh, you can do it here so what have we done we've used Google Plus to create a video the video uh, has been archived on Google Plus we put comments there and it was also archived on YouTube we've put the comments there and uh, uh, again, you can put in the keywords, the description, all of those things, just like anything else you would do with YouTube, and also put it in a playlist. Uh, the next thing you want to do if you're managing your own website is you want to put this on your website. And uh, we won't talk about how to embed the video right now, but, but you could just embed that on a page. And uh, just like you would any other uh, YouTube video, and uh, you're good to go with that. All right, so uh, that's how we use Google Plus to create a video. And so uh, we'll leave you now. And we hope this has been a very good uh, tutorial for you and very profitable for you. And uh, if you have any questions, just let us know on that. So we'll look forward to seeing you uh, again very soon.